Hi, my name's Jim, a staff nurse at Northern Colorado Rehabilitation Hospital. I wanted to talk to you for a minute about pain, um, how it affects your recovery, your ability to rehab uh, physically and physiologically. Um, everybody has pain. Uh, some of it might be a headache. We, at this hospital, we have a lot of neurological pains. We have a lot of uh, orthopedic surgeries, hips, knees, shoulders, uh, spinal cord injuries, spine injuries. Um, things of that nature. A lot of our people are on opioid pain relievers. Uh, there's a lot of pains that opioids are the only thing that are going to be effective and it's just the way it works. Uh, back to the pain thing um, as far as rehabilitation goes. Um, for instance, if you are an orthopedic uh, patient and you're having an awful lot of pain in your knee that you just got replaced, you're not going to be able to rehab effectively and uh, quickly and efficiently uh, if you can't push through that pain. Two types of pain. One type of pain says, ouch, it hurts, I just got my knee operated on, but it's going to get better. Second kind of pain is, ouch, I'm doing damage to myself, I need to quit. Uh, our therapists know the difference, they help you through that, um, along with the medications. We also have alternative methods, we use ice, we use uh, hot packs, we reposition you. Um, there's a lot of uh, different alternatives uh, that aren't necessarily through the pharmacy. Um, the pain issues sometimes limit people in their psychological uh, approach to the rehab. Quote, quote, I don't want to get up this morning because it just hurts too much. I'm not getting up this morning until my nurse brings me my pain meds. We hear that a lot. That's okay. We'll bring you your pain meds. Um, another thing about that is though, you need to kind of push through it a little bit. Uh, pain comes with the territory. It's just a matter of, of the situation that we have in Rehab Hospital. Um, the pain medications that you take are also matched with um, things like, this is something to think about, is the stool softeners. Uh, a lot of pain meds have an adverse effect on your bowels. Uh, not a fun thing to talk about, but something they have to be very aware of with. Um, you get pain meds, you're gonna have to take stool softeners. It's, it's um, you know, it's, they go hand in hand. So in summary, um, the, the pain that you incur, you have to be honest with yourself. You also have to be honest with your caregiver, be it your nurse, your granddaughter, your primary care physician, whoever it is, let them know. If, if you're experiencing a severe amount of pain, maybe something's wrong, um, you need to take a second look at it. Um, you can always give us a call, check our website, um, or come in for a visit. Uh, it'd be better to call first, uh, get a schedule for a visit here at our rehabilitation hospital, and um, see for yourselves. So, thank you.